I have a an American Standard Comfort R. You can see it's an 80 uh, efficiency furnace, so um, it does uh, have this uh, exhaust, which is uh, metal exhaust. And uh, we had a um, flood in our basement, so it did flood up to seven feet. So the whole unit was inside water. And what I found out is I was able to start the air conditioner. The air conditioner starts um, and the fan came on, but the fan, um, the blower fan would not turn off using, if I turn off the fan from uh, the thermostat. So I figured out that there's some might be something wrong with the control panel and these control panels are notorious for going bad. So um, I just ran it in the summer with the control panel and since the air conditioner unit was coming on and uh, the fan was the blower was running so it was fine but now when I needed heat and I turned on the heat it it, it didn't do anything um, the fan just comes on so I can show you what's happening it's if I turn the power on that's the only way I can turn the fan off you can hear the fan is turning on but you can see that the LED light is 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 not on there is only one light and you probably can't see here is one of the green lights are on so I did measure the transformer right here and there is power to the transformer so the transformer is good um, to measure the power to the transformer you need um, like a voltmeter multimeter and in this case i do have and you probably can buy this uh, cheap online as well uh, probably within 25 30 dollars and it can measure your ohms and volts and stuff so uh, there are two things if i turn it to to measure volts and I can see that these these have voltage on it so um, if I can show you that so this is 11 volts and then within the green and It should be calling for for heat here so there is hardly any 1.6 volts so um, I, I figured out that I'll probably replace the board and then see so what I did was I went online and on eBay I found the exact board though it is uh, it was labeled as used but it looks good to me so uh, this was uh, pretty uh, cheap I would say uh, these boards new probably will cost you a few hundred dollars I got it for um, less than forty dollars including shipping so it was thirty thirty five dollars plus shipping and I'm going to replace this board and see if anything changes and then we can eliminate the board in case it doesn't change anything at least I have another replacement board with me so to replace the board, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the power and make sure that there is no power to it. And that sh once that is done, I'm going to take the connector off. I have already worked on this furnace before, so I'm pretty sure, you know, this should be uh, not a problem. And then uh, these big connectors are fine, so you can you can take out these two the big ones just make sure you don't damage the pins so those are the big ones and then there is one over here and you have to depress these two tabs and it will come off and one good thing is they don't go you can't mess this up because they have the way 
like for example this one has a flat end so you it will go only one way so these are the three big ones and then the top ones i'm going to remove one at a, one by one and then and then put it on the new board so here i put the new board in a couple of things you need to be aware of and i also figured out when installing it is first of all um these you can take off the leads that are coming from your controller or your thermostat there you can take one at a time and put it the same way because your board should be the same the other thing is you should take a picture of these over here so that because there are one or two which are blank in my case yours might be different the third thing is very important is your board has some dip switches so for example there is a dip switch right there and there are a few you can see those red dip switches right there so those dip switches have been uh, configured or have been set by your installer to run certain cycles in a certain uh, manner your um, furnace and the blower motor settings so if you liked what it was without worrying about the settings right now i would suggest that look at your old board so here is my old board and i would just put the dip switches as it is so the way if you look at the dip switches there is an on and off so for example you can see these ones are can go up or down so in this case you can move it up it's not very difficult you can use your fingers so make sure all the dip switches and mostly in, on this board are, are labeled as red so there are two so this is and on the side it says off and on so maybe number one is off number two might be on things like that um, that will make it work as it was installed the fourth thing is very important and I have um, it took me a little while to figure out what the problem was there is there is a, a fuse over here and make sure that the fuse if it didn't come with the board it should you should take it off it's much it's, it's quite easier it's just pull it out it's like an automotive fuse and um, so mine came with it it's it's actually a, a three amp fuse and my fuse as soon as i turned it on it blew because and i couldn't figure out what which uh, connection was wrong or what what had i connected it wrongly so ultimately i figured out that my board in the back was touching the the plate in the the install plate or the metal that holds the board it was touching the back and it should never touch the back and that was the problem is it was short circuiting so what you have to do is and your board probably doesn't come with these clips these clips are very important uh, you should uh, take off these clips it's not very difficult you use a little nose needle nose pliers squeeze these in and they will come out on this so there were like i think one two uh, there were at least one two and three and four four of the clips will hold this board away from the metal back so you don't want it to touch so once uh, this is done i had follow-on issues with this furnace and i will cover those in the other machine uh, other videos actually i was able to fix the whole thing now and you can say, see that the led is blinking that's a good sign and now it's calling for heat and it's going to uh, turn on the uh, gas valve soon the inducer motor is on but in my case the next error i got was error code three and it usually will blink three times 
hope that helps uh, and I have a series of videos on how I fix this furnace after a huge massive flood. I had to replace a few more parts and my other videos will provide those details. If you like the video uh, and if you want to watch my other videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, press the subscribe button down and you will see my other videos also show up in your feed. Thank you for watching and hope it helps fixing your furnace.